Hey, Matt Valley, it's Mrs. Dallas here, and we are continuing our talk for the month of December on being respectful. Or no, that was last month, sorry, being responsible. So I have a, one of my favorites to share with you um, when it comes to being responsible. You know, last week we learned all kinds of ways to be responsible, and the bottom line was the choices we make, making those responsible choices. And so this book um, kind of takes the other approach with people who are responsible to accept responsibility for choices that they make. So this is called, but it's not my fault by Julia Cook. My name is Norman David Edwards, but everybody calls me noodle. Sometimes things happen to me that get me in trouble, but it's not my fault. Things just aren't the way they should be. I feel like everybody's always picking on me. I always get blamed and it's not my fault. Seems like I'm the only one that ever gets caught. There's, he did it again, Noodle did it, teacher. Yesterday, I didn't get my math homework done. So this morning, my teacher made me stay in from recess and do it. Rats. But it wasn't my fault. Last night, I had to go to my big brother's basketball game, and it went into overtime, and by the time I finally got home, it was too late to do my homework, so my mom made me go to bed. After recess, we all headed to the library to work on our science projects. Since my teacher wouldn't let me go to recess, I had lots of extra energy. I felt kind of twitchy. On the way down the hill, hall, I jumped up high and tried to touch the light. On my way down, Mary Gold got in my airspace and her head hit my arm. Ouch, teacher, Noodle hit me. But it's not my fault. You didn't let me go out to recess and my legs just needed to jump. It wasn't my fault my arm did it. And it was just a little bump. I got sent to the end of the line. Perhaps. Then, when I got to the library, I couldn't work on my report on the duck-billed platypus because the media specialist wouldn't let me check out the book that I needed. Noodle, you can't check out a new book until you bring back your overdue book. But it's not my fault. I looked in my backpack this morning. As soon as I got to school, my mom didn't remind me to put it in there. So please, can you bend the rules? Nope. In P.E., Ross Gray tripped me on purpose, and then he laughed at me when I fell down, so I pushed him over. Teacher Noodle pushed me, but it's not my fault. Ross Gray tripped me on purpose, and that made me really feel bad. And then he laughed at me when I fell, which made me really mad. My hands were so mad that they pushed him, even though my brain told them not to. Things just aren't the way they should be. I feel like everybody's always picking on me. I always get blamed. And it's not my fault. It seems like the only one who ever gets caught. See a pattern here where he's blaming everything else for what he did? Noodle, please stop talking. But, but it's not my fault. George talked to me first. Noodle, please stop lollygagging. But it's not my fault. I was born this way. Besides, the pencil sharpener needed to be emptied. Noodle, you just interrupted again but it's not my fault. My mouth is addicted to talking. Noodle, we don't stick our tongue out at other kids, but it's not my fault. TJ did to me first and then he stared at me. So I had to do it back to him. Besides, it doesn't say we can't do that in the school handbook. Just as my teacher was about to say noodle for the 50,000th time, the bell rang. Whew. Noodle, my teacher said, Please stay in for a minute so we can have a talk. Rats. Noodle, today you had a really rough day. But, but it's not my fault. Noodle, there are no buts in my class, in my sentence. Today you had a really rough day and tomorrow is a new day. I can't wait to see what you can do with your tomorrow. Have a safe walk home. When I walked into my house, my mom gave me the unibrow. I could tell by the way she looked at me, I was in trouble. Noodle, your teacher emailed me and told me that today at school, you had a really rough day. But it's not my fault. I didn't get my homework done because the game went late and you made me go to bed. My teacher wouldn't let me go to recess and my legs needed to jump. Mary Gold got in my airspace and her head 
hand hit my arm. I couldn't do my report on the duckbill platypus because the media special specialist wouldn't let me check out the book I needed because you forgot to remind me to put it in my backpack this morning. Ross Gray tripped me and laughed when I fell down and that made my hands get mad. Georgie talked to me first. The pencil sharpener needed to be sharpened. My mouth is addicted to talking. And it doesn't say in the school handbook that I can't stick my tongue out of people. Besides, I had to. TJ was staring at me and he did it to me first. Wow, he's full of excuses, isn't he? Things just aren't the way they should be. I feel like everybody's always picking on me. I always get blamed and it's not my fault. Seems like I'm the only one that ever gets caught. Poor me. Noodle, I'm not talking about whose fault it is. Mom said, I'm talking about whose responsibility it is. Uh -huh. You are responsible for the things that you do. For your choice at home and your choices at school, blaming others is a reason, but it's not an excuse. If you keep playing this game, you will surely lose. You are in charge of letting me know when you have homework. You are in charge of returning your library books. And you are in charge of your legs, your arms, your hands, your voice, and your tongue. Today you made a few mistakes and it caused your day to be rough. But don't blame others for your poor choices because that will make your life rough. Instead, focus on what needs to be done whenever you make a mistake. Own up and become more responsible for the choices that you make. Noodle, everybody makes mistakes, and mistakes can be a good thing, because every time you make one, it gives you a chance to learn something, Mom said. If you blame other people for your mistakes, you give away your chances to learn. Just don't make an excuse when you do something wrong. Just own it and say, yep, I did that. Now, what can I do to improve my situation? Noodle, I love you with all my heart, and I wish I could solve all your problems for you, but I can't. My job's to teach you to become your own problem solver. The next time you make a mistake, on the inside think, yep, that was me. It's going to be hard, but like everyone says, the good stuff in life's not great. If you're brave enough to own your mistakes, imagine how great you'll become. You'll learn a lot, you'll make better choices, and your life will be so much more fun. Don't be a blamer. You're better than that. Use your mistakes to help you grow. Get rid of that phrase, but it's not my fault, and show the world how much you know. Maybe my mom was right. Maybe I was blaming others for my mistakes. Yep, I guess I did make a few wrong choices today. As soon as I got to school the next day, I went to the library, turned in my overdue book, and checked out the book I needed for my report on the duck-billed platypus. When I walked into my classroom, my teacher put her arm around me and whispered, Noodle. Yesterday, we had a really rough day. And today is a brand new day. I can't wait to see what you could do with your today. Then she said, class, it's time for me to collect the rough drafts of your science papers. And when she got to my desk, I said, I don't have mine done, but it, but it, but it, but it's going to be done by tomorrow. I just checked out the book that I needed. He didn't say, but it's not my book. Way to go, Noodle, you did it. You took responsibility for your actions. I am so proud of how brave you are. As a reward, I'm going to give you an extra day to get your rough draft done. When you hand it in tomorrow, it won't be counted late. Uh, but my brother has another basketball game tonight and I guess I won't be going. Rats. Okay, so Noodle learned not to blame others for choices he makes. And the key word there is choices. We get angry, we get mad, we forget, we do things, we make mistakes, we all do. But the key learning here is if you're responsible, you admit it, yep, that was me, now what am I gonna do to fix it, okay? And as we keep going through this remote learning journey for the rest of the month of December, take responsibility for it. If you have a day where you maybe don't get things done you should have got done or you forget to get into your Zoom, take responsibility, pick yourself up, and start over again. Each day is a new day, just like for Doodle, okay? Do your best, be as responsible as you can be, and I hope to see you all soon. Take care.